Welcome back. Here we are playing Samantal once more. Uh, so again, the objective of this game here is to guess the word of the day. The daily reset occurs at midnight GMT, which gives us 45 minutes here to guess the word before tomorrow uh, GMT time, at which time there will be a new word. So here you make some guesses. Your guesses could be any part of peace speech because the target word, the secret, can be in any part of speech. And you get a score of how close your word is to the daily word based on contexts in which the word is frequently used in print. Uh, so yeah, there's a new word every day. Yesterday's word, prevail. That was quite fun. Let's see how we can do today. Let me zoom in once. Let's guess prevail. Oh damn, it's not the same word two days in a row. Uh, let's see. Okay. Food apparently is not a terrible guess. Uh, let's get to types of food, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> we are doing well today. Um, hmm. Didn't expect that to go so well. All right. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing today's word is a noun. And food isn't too far off. Okay, I was guessing it was some sort of delicacy. Guess not, it's not very delicate, is it? It's not cake. Chocolate's pretty close. This could go really quickly if I keep guessing. Um... So what else falls into a similar category here? Hmm. Also, let's pull a random word for the dictionary just for fun. A random word. Bourgie. Bourgie. A small ship's flag used for identification or signaling. Should we guess? I don't even know how to say this, but let's guess it. It's in print somewhere, but is nowhere near our word. How about burger? Okay, not very close. Hmm. Dang. What could it be? Chocolate. Uh, what's that thing where you dip the dip foods in cheese, melted cheese? Oh, I know it's not cheese here. Fondue? Okay, it isn't necessarily a dessert, I guess. Hmm. What could it be? Oh my goodness. Hey, we got it. We got the word in just a matter of minutes. So now if we stick around for another half hour or so, we'll have another word available to us. Um, you know, maybe... Yeah, thank you. It helps that uh, many of the final, the secret words tend to be common words. Although you might or may not think of them as, I don't know, like a word like prevail is not something you use every day. A word like apple, yeah, it's a common word. Would I say that it necessarily follows from my previous guesses? Chocolate, dessert, cheese, cereal. Not sure that apple exactly follows this, but you know, it's a common word. I guess it's more similar to all these solid foods than it is to, like, coffee or tea. Um, I wonder how else I could have gotten there. 
Um, so I could really spoil everything by looking at the list of the thousand nearest words. Um, obviously those watching the video saw me already guess this word, but uh, I guess I'll spoil what are the other... P well, actually, you know, we could keep guessing, can't we? We don't have to, like, accept the fact that we won the game. You could see, like, can I guess other uh, words that are similar? What are the other ways I could have gotten here? Tree? Uh... Okay, it's gonna keep marking these as guess 24, I guess. I guess nobody expects you to use the site this way, but trees pretty high up there. Fruit? Would that be up there? Yeah, so... People do have fruit as a dessert sometimes, and fruit is definitely more similar to apple than dessert is. And this makes me envision a different way the game could have been designed, actually. Where if you have a secret word that's not actually secret, and they give you two words, guess which one is more similar to apple out of the two words. And uh, that could be a different way to play a similar game. But, um, yeah, tree could have been a, one way to get there. Um, anything botanical or garden need or something. I don't know. I'm sure there's lots of ways to get there. Um, I know this says 29 similarity points is cold. And I guess these other foods are closer, but garden's not too far off. Um, I'm wondering. Path is not there. Seed was something I was thinking of guessing. Seeds and nuts and other things uh, that could be delicacies. But we already knew that, like, I guessed delicacy down here, and that wasn't it. And it wasn't even close. And funnily enough, like, beer and delicacy and soup and all these things are decently close to each other, but nowhere near the top 1,000 words. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, worm? Worm? I wonder how close that would have been. 27. Yeah, that's pretty close, too. It does fall out of the top 1,000, but that would have been another way to get there. Uh, if I guessed orange... I mean, I'm not going to guess that before guessing apple, but still. Yeah, orange gets me close. Did I guess banana already? I thought I did. No. Maybe that was just in my mind that I thought I was going to guess banana and then guessed apple first and had banana ready as a next guess. But how far can I get away from fruit? Like, tree is a good way to get there. Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, a worm to get to apple would have been great. Um, tree would have been nice. Yeah, I'm stumped at this point, so let me take a look at other close-by words. Oh, strawberry, berries, pear. That would have made sense. Some people enjoy pear as an after-meal dessert of some sort. Uh, grapes, cherries, these are all like seeded fruits. Almond, so like I said, like nuts and such could have gotten me there somehow. Um, hmm. Grapefruit, watermelon, muskmelon, satsuma. Not super familiar with uh, define satsuma. Oh, a Japanese small citrus fruit. I think I have heard of it. That's why I was slightly disturbed by seeing that there and not remembering what it meant. Nectarine. Other berries of sorts, onions, pecans, walnuts. Yeah, so nuts would have been a way to get there, too. Uh, ladyfinger. Oh, that's cool. So, I'm curious why that scores so well. Or is so similar. Um, star fruits. Yeah, I don't know. Lemons. Service berries, papaya. Apparently these are all used in print in similar fashion. Um, whole wheat. This, uh, again, used in similar contexts, evidently. 
avocado, super sweet, hmm. citron, carob. Yeah, so some of these words are not super common, but are used in similar contexts anyway. So if you'd guessed one of these, it's used enough that it's in this top 1,000 scoring list. There are some words that score better than 37 that just don't make the list because they're uncommon, but they are in the original corpus. They're just infrequently used, and so the score... They don't have a rank, but they do have a score. Um, so those are kind of fun to guess. Hamantaschen. That would have been a fun way to get there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, welcome. Uh, except if you are uh, spamming, then not so welcome. <laughs> I have things set up correctly, don't I? Yeah. I'm impressed. So, I hope we all enjoyed this game here. That went really quickly. Um, I did vamp a bit after guessing the correct solution, because one, I had the energy to do it, and two, I didn't want people who see this video going up to see, oh, this person got the answer like right away. Um, so, yeah, in a half hour or so, we might try the next word, but hope we enjoyed this.